All right, you guys, so let's check out how to create some shading with scatter brush, as you can see in this example. And then on the left one, you can see the shading is like with stencils. I got inspired from Paula how she did this, and we're gonna test it out here as well. All right, so I'm gonna start with this mascot as a reference, and as you can see, we got the stroke separated, and then we got the fill. And I'm gonna put these strokes in a separate layer, and I'm gonna go to the layer, create a new layer, and I'm just gonna drag it into the new one, and I'm gonna lock it, and then I'm gonna select these guys. So basically, I'm gonna paint the shadings on this one. So anyways, I'm gonna go back to the properties and I'm gonna select the circle and here make sure that you don't have anything on the stroke, click on the stroke, click on the none, click on the fill and here I'm gonna select the black and first we're gonna need to create circles. So basically this is gonna be the brush, make sure to have it on different sizes and we're gonna create a brush stroke like this. I'm gonna speed this up. All right, so this is how the final result looks like and I'm gonna select all of it, right click and I'm gonna select group. I'm also gonna go to the effect Let's go to Distort and Transform, select Roughen. And here all I need to do is select the Smooth, and I'm going to increase the size to 6. I'm going to decrease the details a little bit more. I'm going to go with like 7, click OK. I'm also going to go to the Object, Expand Appearance, and now we are ready to create a scatter brush. And here all I need to do is go here to the brushes, and then drag and drop the circles into the brushes, and select Scatter Brush, click OK. And here I'm going to go to the size, change it to random, scatter, random, and rotation, random. Let's go to the size. Here I'm going to go with 75. Spacing is going to be 40. And the rotation, I went with minus 85. And I'll at least go to the method and change it to hue shift. And I think we're ready to go. Click OK. Let's go and select the brush tool and start brushing. Now this is pretty big, so I'm gonna need to scale this down. Let's go to the stroke size. For example, I'm gonna decrease it to 0.25, and I'm gonna try it again. And there we go. And then you also can decrease the brush opacity. Here you got the opacity, and bring it down. For example, 40, and I'm also gonna delete it, and draw again. I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what do you guys think. So pretty much that's how I implemented the scatter brush into this illustration and have fun testing it out.